possible. Just because you feel it inside and you want it, does not necessarily mean that it's for you. I am talking to those ladies that are more materialistic. I have a lot of friends that are materialistic, and we all know that it's just buying emotions. Everything from everything from this necklace to this dress to this, it's all emotions. You don't necessarily need them, but our emo we are so weak towards when it comes to our emotions we are we've got a weakness for them we listen to them when i'm angry i literally go angry i listen to that emotion and i blow up when somebody cheats on me or breaks my heart i literally listen to that and i'll blow up and when i'm hungry i'll eat sometimes i eat my feelings this is why i'm so big and when we drink we drink to the excess because it makes us feel good so whatever emotions that we have we have got a weakness for our emotions and it's a very dangerous thing because we have lost ourselves because of our emotions today i'm feeling like um, i'm a queen of new york i'm doing that i'll blow up my credit card and i'll shop feeding my emotions and tomorrow i'll wake up angry because he didn't call me or he's acting funny his profile picture and all that and, and and i'll be angry we are literally following emotions and emotions are stimulated by vision and sound and what's around us media we go on Facebook, we look at other people's filtered pictures, we, we envy couples that are on Facebook. Oh my God, these guys look so well. Oh my God, about me and my bear, me and my bear. And we all know that Facebook relationships, most of them are lies because they're just pictures. Behind it is the drama, is the crust, is the lies, is the deception, is everything. So when I go on Facebook and I scroll through all those filtered, filtered photos, I don't look like that on, on, on real life. We put a yellow bone, we put all these things to make us look all, then I'm like with bear and bear is looking like vavavum and all, and then we put it out there and it makes it, makes it look like we are like that. And, and, and yet, Behind when we get home, we are fighting about here in the left profile picture. We are fighting about why are you home late? Who is this girl? We don't have money, children, illness, job. We we forget that behind all those nice fancy pictures are actual human beings with actual problems. But we want to we want that that we see on the media. They look nice. So how come I can't look nice? And then we go and blow up credit cards, then we go and blow up school fees money, then we go and blow up important money. Just to look like what I saw in the picture. But what you saw in the picture is not true. And a lot of people get lost with that. And because of the emotion, when you see something, it triggers an emotion. Ah, wow, envy. Ah, wow, nice. Ah, wow, angry. So because you saw someone else saying something bad about this person, you automatically want to say, have you noticed that on, on, on pictures, especially, I think I'm a great, very good example. When somebody goes on my post and, and somebody says something nice, the whole post is nice, 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 nice. When I post something else and somebody goes negative, the whole post is negative, 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 negative. Simply because of what a person is reading and what a person is seeing and what a person is feeling at that time. We feed into our emotions so much that we drain ourselves and we lose our self-identity simply because of the things that we are seeing around us. That also contributes to the people that we are today. You cannot focus. You had dreams. You had a budget for things. You, you wanted to buy things. Mama Ronga with your husband. That we're going to do this. We're going to do this. But because you saw Zuma's picture. I'm going to use my name. I could use another person's name. But you saw Zuma's picture with a Rolls Royce on, 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 on the screen. And now you're full of envy. And, uh, and, and she's got this big bling bling necklace and diamond necklace. And because... You have seen that. You are now diverting your plans, your, your life, simply because of that. You get people that post so many fake messages on Facebook just on, from their pictures. Party girls, fashion, and all. And then it looks like they are like that every day. And it's so sad that we have, we're now starting to believe that people are like that every day. And we live according to what we see on Facebook, completely forgetting about the principles and the values and the moral values that we should have on ourselves. And completely forget that, no, mana does, mana, you cannot raise your child based on what you see on Facebook. You cannot see, no offense, you cannot see Pokelo's son looking like the most fashionable person that you see on earth and then automatically want to dress your child like that. You cannot see Pokelo wearing this and this and automatically want to dress her because this is what she is selling, but this is not her life. 
I'm talking about her because I noticed that a lot of my friends are followers, blind followers. She literally bought a whole outfit simply because she was wearing it. Not that there's something wrong that, that what she's doing. She's simply expressing herself. But we literally take it and on our lives. And it's pathetic because that's not true. That's not the person's life. It's been happening to celebrities all over the place. And But celebrities are too far-fetched. We're talking about millions. I'm talking about simple things that if you see Zua wearing something on Facebook and you want to wear it too, it's not, that's not right. It's not right. So when you see people going out for dinner with their families, when you see people go out for, for, for lunch and they post pictures and they're always posting pictures and then you want to literally take that and put that in your life and you completely forget your own values, it doesn't make sense.